Okay. <clears throat> so hello everybody, my name is Drajan Hoffman, uh, speaking on behalf of GONG, an NGO from Zagreb, Croatia, about something that's very close to our core activities, which uh, oftentimes pertain to elections and other, other processes of citizen participation. And in particular, Alavatelli was very helpful to us in exposing the misuse of public resources in an election campaign taking place in Croatia just this year, in fact, just a couple of months ago. Uh, trying to set the stage, uh, the context was uh, that local elections took place in Croatia in uh, spring, that is in May of 2021. Uh, and these local elections are quite a complicated affair in Croatia, as even such a small state, a small country is uh, very much uh, fragmented in terms of territorial administration in as many as 556 local administrations, the, those being cities or municipalities and those grouped into 20 counties. And when you take uh, into account the fact that uh, this election is a parallel election of both executive and representative bodies, that is uh, mayors and county prefects are elected uh, while it, on other ballots rep representatives to county assemblies or city councils are also elected, plus municipal councils are elected where applicable, you can see that this election is in fact, several thousand uh, micro elections taking place at the same time. Our tip off was a call in from a citizen who noticed that a YouTube channel named Jir TV, which is somewhat difficult to translate, but a Jir would be sort of around trying to go, go around the place as in a walkabout, was very intensely active during two weeks in April, which is very indicative because this is the time when the official, uh, or rather before the official election campaign was taking place. And this uh, channel was very proactive in offering quite really quaint footage of seaside towns and villages across several counties in Croatia, both of very successful local projects and uh, in something akin to veiled invitations to citizens for these successful trends to continue. And in each of these videos available on the YouTube channel, incumbent mayors were very prominently featured. Uh, this is one example of one of those lovely videos featuring this journalist uh, he, on the left-hand side of the photo here named uh, Dauri Urkutic, I believe, who appeared in a number of cities every time uh, very standing very near to the incumbent uh, mayors and presenting what advances were made in the quality of life in these cities in the past, uh, in the past uh, term of the local government. And as we would soon, as we would soon find out, uh, these videos were followed or made possible by a slew of service contracts with the Digital Media Group, which is a company operated by by the aforementioned journalist. And in fact, these contracts were very formulaic. Uh, each of them provided for the company to ensure 30 minutes of footage, including a talk with the mayor, which would be broadcast at least twice on local television uh, and would be uh, promoted for 30 days on social media, targeting an 18 to 65 year old audience uh, following during and fall and uh, after the the election campaign. Note that the 18 plus audience are also voters. Uh, the price was uh, also fairly formulaic, 2,600 euro for this package of services. So uh, being the curious bunch that we are, we used our own national Alavateli based platform called Imamo Pravoznati, we have the right to know.org to send out a generic query to as many as 68 cities and municipalities that we found uh, listed on this YouTube channel. So really our work was cut out for us by, by, the, uh, by this business enterprise. And we asked each of those to provide us with a contract, uh, the exact contract which covers the filming and broadcasting services provided by, by the company that was engaged. Why it was important to ask, because according to our National Act on Financing of Political Activities and uh, Election Campaigns, it is forbidden to, found, to fund political parties and uh, campaigns from state bodies, public companies, legal persons with public prerogatives, bodies of local self-governments, public companies owned by local self-governments. So uh, essentially what we suspected was that uh, public resources were being misused 
through these videos to effectively provide campaigns to incumbent mayors and to the exclusion of their political opponents, giving the incumbents an unfair electoral advantage because they could directly sign uh, the contracts with this company to have a video broadcast of, of their successes and advertise, uh, advertise their uh, candidacy effectively for the next four-year term. Uh, the outcome of the 68 queries was, according to this breakdown below, we actually had a very successful turnout with the 54 uh, complete responses from the cities and municipalities, which proved that they in fact had uh, had contracts with this company. Several more were partially successful or never came back. One of them refused was a refusal because allegedly the uh, the city had no. Uh, active contract with the company but it might be in the, the case that the um the cooperation was arranged in some other way uh the aftermath was fairly scarce uh, unfortunately some media attention was brought here uh, to the case by a weekly newspaper and a very highly read uh creation language news portal but uh, there were no legal sanctions whatsoever in fact the state electoral electoral commission uh, gave us a direct answer that they cannot determine the uh, activities of potential uh, that is not yet confirmed candidates so in the first phase of the of the electoral campaign they weren't sure if the incumbent mayors would in fact be candidates you could call this a cynical re response but technically it's true uh, this uh, was followed by the interpretation, again, of the State Electoral Commission that they could not determine that public resources were being misused for, uh, for campaign purposes because, according to their interpretation, it's entirely possible that these videos were produced by uh, in the goal of uh, regularly promoting the activities of local self-governments. The very fact that it took place during the election campaign period was not sufficient proof in and of itself. So in conclusion, our lesson, our takeaway from this case was that while our technological capabilities for ensuring FOI might be formidable, they are no match for a lack of political will, which is very prevalent and plagues us on a daily basis. So thank you uh, again for listening to my talk. Thank you, Blue Sky Timer, for being such a convenient oppressor in my peripheral view all the time and looking forward to hearing the other talks. Thank you again. Thank you so much, Jaden. That was that was really interesting um, and not too cynical at all. I think it's it's really important to, to be able to use FOI for this, even if uh, we can't immediately get a win out of it. I'm sure uh, I'm sure it's all good evidence for the future.